What's going on guys, El Shanko here and welcome to another edition of You Can't Win Anything With Kids with Manchester United. Now, I'm back a wee bit earlier than I said I was going to and this is a special triple header episode um, which hopefully you guys will enjoy um, and hopefully it will um, work out okay because this will be the first time I've ever tried to put um, three games together in a row on this channel. So, the last game that you saw was a fantastic draw against Manchester City. Now since then three games have been played and uh, I'll go through these now. First of all it was a 1-0 loss to Roma in the Champions League. Um, really strong team played here because I wanted to win. I wanted to go through. I wasn't bothered about you know youth team just now. I just wanted to get through because I knew that if we qualified for the quarter final um, then the board would be happy. Because that was what they said they wanted from me um, for this season from the Champions League. So, uh, I took the 1-0 defeat. Um, it was a fairly innocuous goal, to be honest. But um, big points here was that Marcos Rojo got sent off after 79 minutes. And if you see, he actually came on in 51st minute. So, a little bit disappointed in him for that. And uh, he got a severe warning from me for that. Um, and the only other point to note is, I actually brought on this guy, Edward Douglas. Now, he came in in the youth intake. It's supposed to be really good potential. Now, what I just thought was, I'll just chuck him in and, you know, play him until the end of the season, uh, you know, every so often. And loan him out, basically, and try and keep on loaning this guy out. Because he's supposed to be really good potential ability. So, I'm going to keep on loaning him out to clubs, maybe a season at a time. Um, just start him low, work him up, and see... Because you might, you might be able to get an absolute fortune from it, or you might turn it into a really good player for the future, along with all the other kids. So, that'd be quite good. Um, so, that was that game, uh, which was pretty self explanatory, really. So, we're through into the quarter finals, and the reason that I'm doing the triple header today is we've got the Arsenal game, obviously, as I said we were going to do. Um, but it's sandwiched in between two games against none other than FC Barcelona. Well, Messi and Co., that's going to be interesting. Um, so then we went on to Sunderland game um, at home. We won 3 2. <sighs> Again, bit of a disappointment to concede two goals to Sunderland. But Egwene hat trick. Um, we played a young team, you know, started off uh, Connor Cullen in goals, uh, Penrice at left back, McCarthy attacking mid, and Nisbet up front. So I'll show you the first two goals from Egwene because. I believe they were both set up by, well, one that was set up by Penrice and one was set up by Nisbet. Um, can't quite remember which one was which, to be honest. This one might be the Penrice one. Yes, yeah, great ball in. And Egwene with the header, 1-0. Um, so that, that was really good um, for him. And it really did start us off really well in that game. We went 2-0 up on the 11th minute. And I'm thinking now, this is brilliant. Um, Egg Wayne with the shot, and in. <clears throat> oh, actually, I don't think that was the setup. My no, it can't have been the setup. It must have been the setup for the penalty. Um, I knew that what, there was another one that because Nisbet clearly set up one. She probably not fell for that. I'm not going to show you. Okay. Anyway, safe to say that Kevin Nisbet got the assist for that one. Um, quite happy. He's progressing well. Um, so, on to the next game, the Liverpool game. This is huge, remember, because of the league positions that Liverpool were in. They were in um, second, I think they still are in second, to be fair. Um, and we went to Anfield, one of the toughest games that we're having all season. And we actually won, 3-1. Um, now, I played a full team here for the same reason as I did the Roma game. No chances were taken. Um, we scraped it. I mean, three one, you look at that and say yeah, we should, you know, we hammered them, but we didn't. I mean, look at the stats: less shots, um, less possession. Overall, it was a backs to the wall job, and we came out with three goals. The one thing I do want to show though is Egwene's first goal, and it's not because it was a particularly special goal because it wasn't, um, but it's just the significance of the goal, because this, in fact, is the caption we'll show in a minute, hopefully with the ball in here from Darmian and there's the header 
This, in fact, was his 40th goal. Yep, there you go, 40th goal of the season. Now, 40 goals in any one season for a player is just unbelievable. And this guy, you know, we signed him uh, with a lot of money. It was 60 million or there or thereabouts, wasn't it? Yeah, 60 mil. Uh, he scored 30 goals in the league, 41 overall now, apparently. I suppose that's the count in the Nationals right enough, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> so that's really good. So, what I'm going to do with the rest of this um, episode is I'm going to cut it up into three chunks. First chunk I'll be adding on to this, which will be uh, the Barcelona game. Then I'm going to go away, <clears throat> play up until the, Bar- the Arsenal game, off camera, and then I'll record the Arsenal game, and then I'll play till the next Barcelona game off camera, and then record that and put it all together in the episode phrase. So hopefully you'll enjoy this episode uh, with triple header. Um, I'm not too hopeful. I'll say that right now. I'm not too hopeful for this Barcelona game. Um, I'm going to put out a strong team in the first leg at home. Um, if we do well enough, then I'll put out a strong team against Barca as well in the second leg. But if I don't, if I'm getting hammered, then the kids are all in. As many kids as I can get in. Um, so we'll see. So let's get right into it. I'm going to have to change the team, I think. No, I've already set it up. That's okay. I can't even remember what I'm doing from one minute to the next, to be honest. Um, but we'll, we'll see what happens with this. Um, again, it's a strong team we're going with. Um, I fully expect to get hammered in this game, though. Because, quite simply, they are um, Barcelona, quite clearly. So, I'm not going to change anything. I'm not going to change the way we play because it's Barca. I'm not going to do anything like that. I believe in playing the way we are and that's what we're going for. So, in terms of warming up, they are favourites undoubtedly. They should be the favourites. No, no, no. Marcus Rojo. We don't need him. So they've got Ter Stegen, Alba, Vermaelen, PK, Alves, Busquets, Rakitic, Iniesta, Neymar, Messi, Suarez, the Divine Trinity, as they call them. Wow. Right, guys. Do you think Shaw and Darmine are up to handling Neymar and Messi? We'll soon find out. Pick up where you left off. Oh, no, 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 no. Just go out and enjoy yourselves. I don't care. We're, we're, you know, we're up against it here. If I can say passionately to try and get them motivated, that'll be good. Um, but I'm not expecting anything from this game. So just go out there, play, and let's see what happens. As I think in all probability, we'll actually get hammered here. Um, but again... We've, we've made it to the quarterfinals, which is exactly what the board wanted. Um, the board said that was minimum, but I think the fact that we're playing Barcelona, um, and it's not just, you know, you're not playing a Real Sociedad or a team like that, um, should mean that they'll let us away with it if we lose. Um, it's going very, very slow. Oh, the sentence. Yeah, between highlights, it's all in key highlights. Yeah, hmm. Interesting. Maybe my computer just going slow today. But to be honest, nothing's happened in the first seven minutes, so um if that goes the same for ninety and we can maybe snatch one in there, I'd be quite happy. But no highlights yet. I mean this must be a really boring live call, guys, I'm sorry. But as you know, football manager you're sort of um, at the mercy of the highlights. Um, but to be honest, I don't care if it's a boring uh, live com or not. If we get through here by some minor miracle, um, then I'll be more than happy. And I'll take the hit of having, you know, probably dislikes and no views and all the rest of it. Chris Small and Thigh Strain. Mm. Should I keep him on? I'll keep him on just now. He's 81%, so should be okay. Uh, but first 20 minutes gone and no highlights, which 
it's a bit bizarre, really. I mean, maybe it's our defensive shape that Barcelona just can't break down. That's what I'm sticking with. <laughs> um, it's just... It seems a bit bizarre that um, we're not able to um, have a highlight or they've not had a highlight in the first 25 minutes. You know, it just seems absolutely bizarre. But we'll take it. Um, I say we were putting up a good show anyway. I suppose that's the main thing. Um, that we're not getting embarrassed. Uh, because that was my concern coming into this was that I was looking at the teams beforehand before I came on camera and I'll admit it was quite scary when you're thinking that these guys, you know, Darmy and Smalling, Shaw, Jones, um, Schneidel and you know, you wouldn't consider any of them world class, I suppose you'd say. You know, not in comparison to the opposition is what I'm trying to get at here. Um, you know, I mean, I know that a lot of them came to Man U for uh, big fees, but, oh, here we go. Here we go. Right, guys, get into them. Tackle. Do something. Suarez, get the ball. Good ball. Alves. Neymar. Good save. Well done, De Gea. That's it. That's the kind of stuff that we need. Well done, David De Gea. <sighs> right. Let's get us to half time, guys. 38 minutes, 39 minutes. Come on. We can do this. Just keep it tight. I always get nervous when you're playing a team like Barcelona because you know, you know there's going to be one time that they're going to break through and it's going to be that clinical finish into the net. Their players are so good that you know, they can just take a chance from next to nowhere. But it looks like we're going to be going in at half time. Nil nil. Very boring uh, live con for you guys, and I'm sorry about that, but. Yeah, just go out there and play without pressure again. Um, no pressure at all on the guys. Um, we've done well. We can keep it exactly the same way. Not do anything um, to kind of stop the flow of this at the moment. Because we're doing fine. Um, just hope that we can... Oh, great tackle! Great tackle, Darmian. God, I thought they were going to score in the first highlight there. I mean, that not all, almost never happens. Get it away. Neymar. Oh, he skinned him. Oh, what a tackle! Oh, God, that was a, some tackle. But see when he went to the ground. Heart was in the mouth. And here's Rooney. Chance, chance, chance. Ah! Oh! Come on. I don't want it to be an open game, though. I want it to be as stuffy as we can make it. You know, I mean, I know I've got us on attacking, but that's because we're sticking with our tactic. I'm not changing just because it's Barcelona. Because we've played good teams this season already. So, oh, here we go. Neymar's got the ball. Suarez, good tackle, Schweinsteiger, well done. Well in there. Good ball, Rooney. What's that? Shaw. Go for it. Schneiderlin. Herrera, great ball. Higuain! Ah, oh, I thought he'd had it there. Just turn that defender and he's away. But, here we go. Neymar. This is end-to-end -end stuff now. Whatever happened to the boring first half with that act? I'd rather have a boring second half as well, to be honest, but... Neymar, ball into Messi, and De Gea saves. He stood up big there. Well done. Just away. Well done. Just clean it anywhere. Doesn't matter where you put it, as long as it's away from our goal. So this second half's looking a bit more stretched than the first. It probably won't suit us very much. Jones, hello, Schneiderlin, what can you do? Good ball, Darmian, go! Skin him! Go on, cross the ball in! Look, hit it! Oh! Oh, how close was that? Oh, guys, I thought we had it there. I really thought that was in. Right, come on! Let's bury them now. We've got a chance. Mind you, in saying that, this is long, I sent a false sense of security. I've got a horrible feeling that we're going to pay the sucker punch for 
for this in a minute, but right, 60 minutes gone. It's still nil nil. Stick or twist time. It's stick or twist. Right. Okay, six. I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist. Here we go. Six on the sixty-fourth minute. Daily blend. On for. Luke Shaw. The simple reason that. Luke Shaw is knackered. Um, who's better, the pie or closer? Okay, it's the pie. Okay. Memphis the pie on for Wayne Rooney. Right, that'll do. I think, yep, that'll do for my subs just now. Uh, don't need team talks with them. Just go for it, guys. Come on. Let's keep this tight. Come on. Again, I feel like if we can just keep it tight until the end of the game, take a draw away from here, then that would be a really good result. I know it's a home tie, so you want to kind of get a result on the board, but at the same time, it's Barcelona that we're playing. You know? Um, right, okay. Right, we're heading into the 75th minute, 76th minute now, so final sub of the day. I'm going to go my head or my heart. Because my head is saying bring closer on for Higuain. My heart is saying bring Bannigan on. So that you live by your decisions. Off comes Ander Herrera. On comes Stuart Bannigan. Come on, Banzo. Let's do this. Get out of there. Make a difference. Let's see you score a goal against Barcelona. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Here we go. This is where the hell's with a sucker punch. Neymar. Alves. Oh. Gives it away. Mata. Ball. Egwene. Boy in the middle. Boy in the middle. The pie! It's the pie! It's 1 0! Fuck you, Barcelona! Yes! Come on! Oh! My god! What a ball by Egwene! And what a cushion finish by Memphis Depay! It's 1 0! And all of a sudden, wow! We've got a lead. We've got a lead that, to be honest, we probably scarcely deserve. Um, there's been no highlights or nothing in the entire game. Um, the players haven't played great, um, but we appear to be doing okay, and better than okay, we're actually winning. So, if this goes on like this, then we could have a good result on our hands, guys. Two minutes injury time now. Just go as quickly as you want to go. Oh, means we're going to have a chance. We're going to have a chance, guys. This could be disaster. Train stagger. Memphis. Oh, stupid ball. Get in there. Tack on. Oh, get it away. Oh, no. Suarez, man. Here we go. Neymar. Wide. Well saved the hair. Brilliant. Keep it out. Away. Well out in Bannigan. Get it out. Yes, offside. Whew. Right. First part of the triple header. I think I can safely say fantastic result. We've somehow managed to beat Barcelona. Somehow. I don't know how, but we've done it. Okay. Right. Brilliant. 
I don't can't think there's anything that needs addressing after that. We've just been Barcelona. For goodness sake. Right. Okay. Right guys. Well, after that fantastic oh look at that. Howard destroyed but came out with a victory. Really happy with that. So I'll be back uh, shortly with the um the Arsenal game. Um which is coming up shortly so um yep yeah, I'll be back soon. And we're back guys. It's the day of the Arsenal game and a couple of changes being made to the squad. Not many because I think the next couple of games are really important. So I've brought in Liam Lindsay to replace Phil Jones. Uh, Stuart Bannigan to replace Ander Herrera. Um, and I'm not sure whether I should do another one or not. Um, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll mix it up a bit. I'll bring in Memphis Depay to replace Wayne Rooney. Just to kind of mix it up a bit because I think now we're at a stage where we need to really win this. The only thing that's different, uh, the only thing that's happened really since um, we've been away in this week, is that Chelsea actually won their game in hand. So they're now only one point behind us going into this. So you can see it's really bunching up a bit. So we'll, we'll just need to wait and see. And also I had a spat of words with Arsene Wenger. Um, but apart from that, there, there was pretty much nothing else happened in that week. So right, let's get into the game and uh, see if we can get this done quickly. And hopefully it'll be a similar, maybe not a similar performance, but certainly a similar result. Um, oh wait. Okay, they've got Czech, Monreal, Koscielny, Mertesacker, Bellerin, Corzola and Ramsey, Sanchez, Ozil, Walcott and Icardi. It's a good team. It's a good team, but we've just played a good team. So, let's go for it. That's all I can say. Uh, let's give the players... Mm. I'm not really keen on that. Uh... I think that worked the last time. Just go out there and play a natural game. Result will come. Um, doesn't matter if it takes all game. I'm not bothered. If it takes all game. I mean, like I said, the, the pie go on the Barcelona game. It doesn't matter how long it takes to come. As long as the goal comes in the end. Um, I'm quite happy to have three boring live comms that all finish 1-0 to us. Um, if we can manage to get three victories, I'd be delighted. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Interesting to see how Bannigan and Lindsay do in this sort of pressure cooker environment. I wasn't sure about bringing in Depay either, but he did score in the last game, so I think as a reward uh, for that goal, um, he is in. So, again... Oh, here we go. Chance, Schneiderlin, Mata, Egwene, play it in, play it in, play it in. Oh, the pie! Oh, that would have been amazing. Because you've got to look, I mean, Memphis the pie is playing for his position against against Barcelona now. So, um, is it Egwene? Oh, good save, check. Right, here goes. And again! Oh, so near yet so far. Ten minutes gone. We've looked the better side. We've got another chance. Mata. Smalling, Bannigan. Go! Schweinsteiger! Yes! Yes! Come on! 1 0. That's a vital goal. Absolutely vital. And anyone that says that this team can't play, what a ball from Bannigan. Straight in the Schweinsteiger. Straight in the back of the net. It's 1-0. I feel like we've been the better side up till now. Um, so it's just a case of hanging on now as much as possible. Keep this going. Uh, keep the form going. And hopefully this will provide a springboard for the rest of the season. Up you go. Well in. The pie. Good turn. Good ball. Oh, nearly. Darmian, good ball in. Come on. 
Are you in? Oh, how did you miss that? Oh. Oh, jeez. I think the Eastbourne ladies really team could have bloody beaten that. Defy! Yes, it's 2 now. Memphis Defy gives us a cushion. Well, lads, this was all about Memphis Depay. Took it inside. I thought he was going to square it take away. No. Straight under check. It's 2 0. <laughs> okay, looking comfortable. Looking really comfortable at the moment. That's good. Struggling to cope with numbers in midfield. That's fine. We can struggle to cope as much as you want. Because we're winning 2 0. Something that might need to be taken into consideration, but we're winning 2 0. And it is Arsenal, they're a good side, but at the same time, we're a good side. And I just, oh no, here we go. Just wait to be 2 1, guys. Here we go, one cut. Tackle him. Tackle! Oh, okay. that's fine. We're lucky, he's rubbish. Two 0 the boys are playing quite well. Um two Thistle Lad ex Thistle Lad six point nines. The pair of them Lindsay and Bannigan. Um I'll take that. Chance now. Schneiderlin. Bannigan. Good ball. Egg Wayne. Shaw. Penalty! Oh Smallin. Schneiderlin. Egg Wayne. Good save check. Fans going wild here in the stands. He's got another corner. Make this one count. Go on. Oh, another corner. Come on. This time, surely. And again, another corner. Well, we're fair racking up the corners here. Come on. Just wide from Schweinsteiger. That was unlucky. We're hurtling towards the 40 minute mark. It's 2 0 and looking fairly good, to be honest. Um, oh no, here we are. Spoke too soon. <sighs> Walcott. Tackle him. Somebody tackle him. Close him down. Oh no, get it away. That's it, go. Matter. Oh. Egoine. Depay. Memphis Depay. Man on form. 3 0. Game over. Superb finish. And I'll tell you something Wayne Rooney is not starting against Barcelona in the second leg. It's going to be Memphis Depay. What a finish. He's on form now. Two goals in this game for him. One for Schweinsteiger. It's 3-0. It's going to be 3 0 at half time. One minute to go. Excellent performance. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Very happy with the team. Well played. So, now I'm going to make the subs. I bring on some youngsters to uh, keep the, the legs fresh. Um, okay, well, I'll bring on one youngster. Keep his legs, uh, keep the legs fresh for, um, in fact, no, I will. I'll bring on Connor Cullen as well uh, for David here. Uh, give him another run out. Um, I just didn't want to do that because I thought, well, so it is 3 0, but it's 3 0, we should be fine uh, with that. So, <sighs> well, lads, another uh, half like the one we just had, and I'll be very happy. 3 0 up, and looking fairly good, to be honest. And I mean, this is quite a shock because I thought that Arsenal were. 
a much better team than this in the game because they have been performing badly but I always thought you know the players are, are better than that you know like Ozil and um, Cazola, Walcott, Giroud, um, Sanchez obviously um, you know they've got some very talented players there um, but they just don't seem to be doing anything in this season um, I mean I think we're seventh in that the spat of words between me and Wenger before the game it was actually me defending him. You know, I, they, they came to me with a question about Wenger and he's saying that you know, he's been really negative about the position and saying that he doesn't know how whether he'll be able to carry on his job uh, unless they change of fortune. Um, and I basically came to his defence. I said, look, the board shouldn't sack him. You know, you know man, stick with the manager's union or whatever you want to call it. You know, try and um, stick by the guy. Um, and then he came out and started saying that, you know, he, he doesn't listen to me and, you know, I should keep my mouth shut and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, listen, pal, I'm supporting you. You know, I'm supporting you against your board. I'm trying to tell your board to give you some more leeway. Because um, really, you've done, you're doing a good job. You're a fantastic custodian to this club. Um, oh, damn me, I'm not getting sent off. I was only a book in this thing. But I mean, really, realistically, I mean, it has been good for Arsenal over the years, so I don't see why. Oh, wow. What a finish by Luan. Um, to be honest, that's worth looking at again. Bond, from Alexis. Luan with a nice finish, side foot, past Cullen. It's 3 1. I've got no more subs to make as well, so we've just got to go with this. Depay. Good ball. Damien. Depay. Oh, I thought that was going to sneak over. Check there. But it didn't. And now... Right, okay. I think we're going to need something changing here, contain them, uh, and team talk of assertively concentrate, because we can't afford to concede a goal here, we cannot afford to concede a goal, and unfortunately, we have done. It's <sighs> never easy. It's never easy, especially when that's what I was saying about bringing on an inexperienced goalkeeper for a situation like this. I thought Arsenal have got some good players up front. Um, but I thought we could handle it with 3 0 up. Now it's nervy. Now it's very nervy. Now is when I just want there to be no more highlights till the end of the game. Because I know that two such highlights could be game over. Oh, no. Well done, Connor Cullen. Well saved, son. Well saved, that needed to be. Come on, just see this out. We need to see this out. Every minute that passes is vital. Go on, Depay. Go on, Depay. What's that? What is that? Remember, Memphis, I can take that Barcelona starting slot away for you. Hey, three minutes. Come on. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Well in. Schweinsteiger. Ball. Mata. Shoot. Closer! Yes! 4-2. And that coasting to victory now. I, tell you, I don't know who writes this text commentary, but I tell you what, this is not coasting to victory, I tell you. I think I've put on four grey hairs since starting this game. <sighs> coasting to victory. Jeez, oh. That's better, though. That's better. That's much more 
um, solid performance. Now, looking at it, here's Mata. Oh, it's the bar! So near to five. But we'll take this. We'll take this all day long. This should hopefully just be the end of the game highlight. Even if they score now, they won't they won't um, get it. But well done, Michael McMillan. Well done, Mick. Go on. Go on closer. It's fine. It's done. Game's over. I'm more nervy when than it should have been at half time. But we'll take that. 4 2. Brilliant. Um, and we go on, we, we go marching on up the league, um, hopefully that should, well it will send us a second at the moment, because we were the early game um, in the league, yeah we were the early game, so that is us now second, um, obviously a point ahead. Um, I'll send assistant to that. Close ends, goal, trout, Depay, Vengar. Improved deal for Stuart Bannigan. No problems. Banzo, you're a legend in my eyes. You can have whatever deal you want, pal. You can have whatever deal you want. Three years extra and another bit of money there, that's fine. Not a problem at all. Um he's looking good. He's looking really rounded now. Um I think the loan spells out as well at championship clubs have done him well um so far so really happy with his performance. Now what I'm gonna do is just before we cut this bit of the video um I'm going to take you through the rest of the games for this What's this now? Finger accused you of acting unprofessionally. Oh, go away. We've got more pressing things to worry about, to be honest. I uh, just want to see the rest of the results so that we can see where we are in the league before going into the Barcelona game. Because if even one of the teams at the top drops points, I'd be delighted. You know, we've got um, Liverpool, you've got um, Tottenham, we've got uh, Chelsea, you know, if any of those teams drop points, I'll be over the moon. We need them to drop points because, I don't know, if we especially need Tottenham to start dropping points because it's looking like they're actually going to win the league, um, which I wouldn't have thought was possible at the start of this um, season. I don't think they've got that good a squad. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, still. You know, a few games to go. Um, still plenty of chances for us to um, gain points or to lose points or for them. Also, let's see... Chelsea won. Is that the only games that we're on? When's the next games? It's a bit of a disappointment. Oh, right, okay. Right, so what we'll do is we'll just take you through to, to that, those games, which is um, the next day, so it's a Sunday. So that should be fine. Um, we'll just take you through here and we'll see how the results go um, just to make sure that um, we know where we are in the league so we know how much pressure we can put on everyone so Tottenham Man City if Man City win this I'll be delighted a win or even a draw I'd be over the moon Newcastle beating Sunderland the local derby interesting Man City have beaten Tottenham. You beauty. You absolute dancer. Oh, that's a relief. Now, if only Liverpool could lose. If Liverpool get beat as well, oh, it being, oh no, they won. They won, so we're back to third. Um, but with Tottenham losing, what does that leave the league table as at the moment? Five points behind. We're two points behind Liverpool, one ahead of Chelsea. Um, and five behind Tottenham. Tell you what, their backside will be swivelling there like nothing on earth. Um, right, so 
Right guys, well, next game up is obviously the Barcelona game in a couple of days. Um, I'm going to cut this here and um, get to the Barcelona game. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, Barcelona game is um, is here, right now. Um, just going back to standard uh, strong team. Uh, the hair and goals, Darmian, Shaw, Smalling, Jones, who's coming for um, Lindsay, Schweinsteiger, Schneiderlin, Herrera, who's coming for Banigan, Mata, Higuain, Depay. Um, bench, I've gone for a strong bench. Blind, Cullen, Rojo, Banigan, Close, Lindsay and Rooney. So, good strong bench. Let's do this. We've got a lead to defend. I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to keep the same style. Um, I don't believe in changing style um, based on who we're playing, as I said in the first leg. Um, respect for their team. They're obviously a very good team. Um, but we're going to go for this. We're going to go after them again. We, we've won the first leg, so Der Stegen, Alba, Vermeulen, Bartra, Alves, Busquets, Rakitic, Iniesta, and then the fine trinity of Neymar, Suarez and Messi. Interesting um, team. I don't know whether that was the same team as played us. I don't think it was but uh, in the first leg, but we'll see. Uh, see how we do. Um, right, let's go opposition instructions. Play advice to team. Hard on Lionel Messi. Is that it? Oh well, fair enough. Um, right, same thing again. Uh, assertively, no expected to get results. So go and uh, out and enjoy yourself. No pressure. And passionately encourage them. And hopefully, hopefully, we can get something out of this game. If we manage to get through here, I would be amazed. Um, I'd be amazed if we managed to hold out, to be honest, for 20 minutes without conceding a goal. But, sure. Oh, no. I knew it was going to come to, and that's why I never really said much. Because it's just the, the sort of starting highlight of the game. Um, even a thousand, one out of every thousand chances like that, you get one. And it goes in, but we'll see. Messi, good save to here. <sighs> That's an early intent shot from Barca. Um, the boys are, you know, we're in the big time now. We're playing in the camp now. And they need to step up. Really need to step up. I mean, this is where Barca would be expecting to win comfortably. And here they go again. They're having chance after chance, guys. This just isn't funny. This just is not funny. Good save. Oh, that wasn't even a save. It was just missed. That's fine. Um, early, early signs are they're going to just attack, attack, attack. Um, as I suppose you'd probably expect when it's Barcelona and you're 1-0 down in the Champions League. Um, but that doesn't bode well for us. But they've had maybe two, three chances already um, in this half that have um, come very near to testing our goalkeeper. Again, similar to last game, just keep it tight. Oh, it's a way goal! That's an away goal! And it's Gonzalo Higuain. Oh! The next Real Madrid man heads the ball beyond the Barcelona goalkeeper Ter Stegen. What a header, by the way. And that is an away goal. And that means that Barcelona, the mighty Barcelona, need to now score twice to knock us out of this tournament. Sorry, three times to knock us out of this tournament. Wow. It's in these type of games when your big players come to the fore. And what a header. It wasn't a bullet header. It was just a wee floated header. But it was enough to fox Ter Stegen. And put us 1-0 up. Chance matter. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Messi. Tackle. Yes. Oh no. Damien's going to be off. He wasn't the last man. But he's going to be off I can tell. Oh, it's only a booking. Oh, thank God. Thank God for that. I was thinking that was going to be off. 
Just the way they were building that up there. Suarez! Damn it. Right, come on guys. Come on. It's a good header by Suarez to be fair. Um, I'm going to pause the game here. And we're going to see... Let's see. What can we see from... Assertively... Tighten up. Just now. For a good 10 minutes or so. Just tighten everything up. And see how we go. They've still got to score twice. To go through. That's why Egwene's goal today was so crucial. Half an hour gone. If you'd said after half an hour we were 1 1 in the new camp, I'd have been delighted. Um, obviously, you got Darmian on a booking, and now it looks like Small on a booking as well. Um, which will be tough for the rest of the game for these guys. The Pies having a shocker. Absolute shocker. In fact, I'm going to tell him, right? I'm going to tell him right now. Individual team talk for him. Get your bloody finger out. Because if you don't, then at half time you're coming off. Simple as that, pal. Simple as that. If I don't see that getting improved to 6.8, then you're, you're off at half time. I'll bring on Rooney. The minute's slowly ticking away. This feels like agony. I mean, it's been a good episode so far. It's been an excellent episode so far, but this would be the icing on the cake. If we could get whatever result is needed in this game then I'd be over the moon. Matter. Oh no! Don't give it away there, you stupid idiot! Oh, here we go. Suarez. Oh, he's missed it! Oh, jeez, oh, that's a let off. That's a huge let off. Oh boy, I thought that was a goal. I thought that was 2-1 two, uh, two on the night, to each on aggregate, but it's not. Right guys, now. Again, I'm going to try and take all the pressure away from the boys. Because see, you go out there and play without any pressure on you. I know it's going to be difficult. I know you're playing in the new camp. I know it's the uh, quarterfinals of the Champions League. But, there comes a point where you got to be saying you're stepping up. And you bring on Rojo for Smalling. Because um, players are, conditioning these players are they're getting knackered very quickly. Um, because all the games we've played in the past few while with the same, roughly the same team. But, We'll see how this goes. We've got another half of football to be played uh, before anything gets decided here. Now, can we possibly waste enough time that we can win this game? As long as we don't concede two goals in this half, we should be fine. Please end the highlight. Please end the highlight. Suarez is going to... Oh, no. Get away. Good save. Jeez. Oh. That was close. That was very close, guys. Right, come on. Get it away. One all at this stage. Isn't bad. Just watching the minutes tick by. As many minutes as you want can tick by without any more highlights.
you know, if it just takes by with no hassle, no pressure, no nothing. It's three of our back four on booking, so not overly chuffed at that. 60 minutes now. Looks good. I don't want to move anything or touch anything or, you know, even say anything, to be honest, because I just want this game to be over as quickly as possible. You know, we're going up to 70 minutes now. And we've played really well up until now. So, oh no, here's a highlight. But it's us have got the ball. Mata. Oh no. Get to that, get to that. Oh no. Oh no. Here they go again. Suarez. Messi. And a good save to hear that, but they've scored. Oh boy. 2-2, Rakitic. Right, now here comes the subs. Has to be subs now. Because guys are knackered. I forgot to take Memphis to pie off. I'm going to take Memphis to pie off now. Um, well, I'm also going to bring on Daily Blind for Morgan Schneiderlin. The simple reason that Blind can just fit in there. We'll give some more defensive cover to our team. In fact, I'm going to put Hanera there as well. And the three of them can just form a defensive shield, so to speak. Oh, he can't play there. I thought he could. Okay, he can sit there. Um, I'm going to put Deep Lion Playmaker on defend for him. Schweinsteiger, we'll play him as a register just now, just to kind of you know, give it a bit different. Daily Blind, yeah, he can stick with defensive midfielder on defend. Now it's going to be a case of let's defend for our lives, guys. Can you play that there? I think you can, that's probably the best way of doing it, to be honest. Um, Playing Mata and Rooney behind and pulling Shaw and Darmian back a bit. Mentality contain. Right, guys, let's go for it. In fact, instructions, let's see what instructions we've got. Um, play even safer, waste as much time as possible. Um, be more disciplined. Stick to positions more than anything. Just stick with it. Okay. Team shape highly structured. Just trying to take a sting out of the game. Based on what I'm doing. It's a huge last 18 minutes. Absolutely massive last 18 minutes. Just please tick away. I don't care who gets booked. I don't care who gets booked or who fills who or whatever. Just get the ball away from our goals. Just keep the ball away from our net. If it stays away from our net, I'll be delighted. Keep the ball up there. Don't invite any pressure. Just keep them hemmed in by their goal. How long have we got injury time? Two minutes. Keep the ball away. Keep the ball away. Please finish the game 
Now just keep the ball. Just keep passing that ball. All we need to do is just half a minute more. Just keep the ball. Oh, Shaw, what are you doing? What are you doing, Luke Shaw? Get the ball away. I'll get the ball off Suarez for God's sake. Neymar, ball in. Good tackle. Yes! That's us through on the way goals. For the second game in a row. We have done it. On the way goals. Wow. I think that shows that we were battered. Um, we came to the new camp. Not expecting a win, we're just expecting a good performance, and that's what we got from the lads. But we also got an away goals win. Vital. Amazing. And I'm glad, I'm so glad that I put this on um, for the, the triple header, because this has been incredible. Um, so we're through the semi finals now. Um, the board will at least be happy with that, hopefully. Um, yeah, I'll just give a very passionate press conference, I think. Um, oh, we didn't lose at all, shut up. You know, Messi was the best player in the park, yeah, yeah, yeah. The board now, surely they're, they're still satisfied. They were unhappy about how we were performing in competitions last time, so now they're satisfied that we've actually exceeded their expectations um, in the Champions League. So it doesn't matter what we do now with, in the, the league, in this uh, Champions League. We've beaten the board expectations, and that really is all I can ask for um, at this time. So, thank you guys for watching, and um, hope you, hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you want to do more episodes like this, you know, the sort of triple headers, um, let me know in the comments, um, even if it's a double header, maybe uh, keep the episodes a little bit shorter. Um, but I really enjoyed doing it. Uh, hopefully it all pieces together okay, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, guys.